My name is Dabrowski Herbert. My position is Assistant Professor of Immunology in the Department of Medicine and the Division of Experimental Medicine. I became interested in worms specifically when I was in grade school in South Mississippi where my great-grandmother often warned me to not go outside without your shoes lest you catch a worm. She was referring to hookworms. And later on in life, I've, I became to uh, be aware that these were parasites that were making many people sick and were endemic in the area of the south regions of the U.S. This is a class of pathogen different from any other, different from viruses, bacteria, fungi, and the way the immune response deals with a hookworm is unique, and so much so that it seems as though here in the U.S. where hookworm infections are less prevalent, we now generate immune responses against allergens, pollen, cat dander, and the like, in the exact manner as, as if we were infected with a hookworm. We are intently focusing on trying to understand the body's immune defense mechanism against parasitic worms. We actually follow the worm. We, we use the life cycle of this particular parasite and how it traverses through different organ systems to learn about those organ systems, specifically the immunology of those organ systems. So I am a trained cellular immunologist. We're asking questions in the laboratory of how does the host immune response uh, deal with a large, several centimeters in, in length, parasitic hookworm. The specific goal for the work that we conduct in the laboratory is to help to alleviate the suffering in humans affected with chronic inflammatory diseases. It seems as though worms induce immune responses that are very ameliorative for chronic inflammatory conditions. This has led some people to propose that worms could be a new class of therapeutic agents against chronic inflammatory diseases, much because they suppress the immune system. On the other hand, these are pathogens after all, and it is a parasite, and as defined by a parasite, it feeds and lives off of its host. The hookworm is entirely dependent upon a chronic infection because it needs to live within its host for many years to ensure passage of the life cycle. It ensures this chronic infection in many elegant ways, only some of which are known today. One of the most fascinating discoveries we've made by following the worm has been the family of trefoil factors. Now, my laboratory did not originally discover these factors, but for sure we were the first to describe how um, robust these proteins are produced in response to a hookworm infection. That had not before been recognized. The trefoil factor protein is a very small a secreted protein and it resembles a three-leaf clover, hence the name trefoil factor. It's widely known that these are molecules that help to move cells into areas of damage. They help to regenerate areas of damaged stroma and epithelial cells. So what we are trying to understand is how does a trefoil protein orchestrate the anti-parasitic immune response and orchestrate the tissue repair that is so essential following the traversal of the worms from the skin, the lung, and to the GI tract. What keeps me going is the possibility of discovering something new. So today, as any other day, I incorporate not only exercise, but also the thoughts and the theories behind what we're studying in the laboratory. The biggest challenge in all of that is maintaining the level of motivation, despite all of the failed attempts at addressing our hypotheses, which unfortunately are often wrong, but for the rare opportunity in which we are right, this is what we live for.